Hi, right, it's harvest day and uh, the normal way to harvest rice would have been in the past uh, that you hire 20, 30 laborers and, and you cut it and you manually trash it and then transport it off for milling. But uh, nowadays, of course, many farmers uh, are switching to combine harvest. Now, you can't easily afford a combine like this here uh, as a farmer because it's still pretty expensive. But what you do is basically nowadays uh, hire a contractor, a service provider who comes uh, with a small team of people and the combine and harvests the fields. So here's just one model. We're not going to do any advertisement for any particular model or company. This is a small head feeding Japanese combine, uh, but we're actually going to use a different one and I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, this is it. This is our pile of uh, rice, uh, one eighth of a hectare from the hybrid rice. So we'll have to see uh, what the weight of that is uh, after uh, we bring it uh, back to the station and then also determine the moisture content and get the final yield. But what I like is uh, when you look at this uh, grain, uh, it's very clean. So that's really the great thing with this combine. It took me 10 minutes to harvest that strip. And the grain is very clean, not much uh, contamination, so very good quality. And actually, this is also a nice, slender, long grain type, so I'm actually quite pleased with that. Yeah. And not many other problems in this pile. I was looking to see whether we had any false smut or other types of contamination. Uh, I can't see anything, so that's great. And then about six days from now, uh, we'll do the same for the inbred because uh, that is not yet quite mature, so it needs another five, six days. And then we'll just come back with the same combine and do the same. And then we'll see what the result is. Uh, we are also collecting yield component data uh, on the inbred so that we can compare with the hybrid and determine the differences in their components and growth patterns. So and the one thing I'm going to do now is just to take a random sample of grain out of this pile so that I can get a, an accurate moisture content determined. Because I need to adjust my yield to a 14% moisture content so that becomes comparable. Okay, that should be enough.